How'd you feel out there today? Yeah, today was um, a good day, a little less hot. First thing in the morning, so it's good to uh, to get it in, you know, and, and have a win early. We understand you've withdrawn from the doubles due to an elbow injury. Is that something that's still giving you trouble after New Zealand? Yeah, you know, I'm just managing it. I'm, you know, I was really disappointed not to be able to play in New Zealand, and I was hoping that, you know, I'd have the capacity to play both events here, but um, at this point I need to, you know, be careful and and just try to maintain myself. How bad is it? You know, I'm, yeah, thanks. How are you managing the pain? How are you managing the pain? Uh, you know, I go and see the physios and they've been doing a great job. Looks like you're up against Jim Ming Duan in the third round. Have you, do you know much about her? Do you know much about her game? I don't know anything about her. I've never seen her play. Zero, like zero. So I'm going to have to, yeah, see how it goes. Like maybe get a scouting report in the warm up when we hit the five minutes and kind of see how it feels. You made a comment out on court, on your on court interview, that you can't seem to go through one interview without someone asking you about your age or, you know, transcending generations, I think was the phrase that was used out there. Do you get a bit sick of it? No, this, these interviews are a tiny part of my life. So the big part is, is actually out there playing and winning matches, and I don't mind it. And you don't get sick of that, winning matches, I'm sure. Oh, God, no. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. Speaking of your life, you've had such a rich life. Uh, what gives you more mm, satisfaction? You know, the incredible accomplishments on court, the slams, and the tournaments one being number one, creating your business, or what you've done in the world as a role model with equal prize money, what you did in the Middle East and, uh, as, as a role model? Which you uh, most satisfaction? Um, I, would, I wouldn't point to one thing, really. I would just say being able to live my dreams on and off the court and being able to you know have enough courage to go for like what you believe in and you just have to go for your dreams it's it's the um the end result is not as important as the journey and does doing these other things in a way give you a, a balance in your life and has, hel has helped you as a as a <laughs> person hitting the yellow tennis ball i think we're all trying to find balance in our lives and that's something I'm always working on as well, but I can't say that my life is not interesting. If you weren't here playing tennis, what would you be doing instead? I would definitely be in the, in the office, so this has saved me from that. I like to be outside, <laughs> so I'm still making the transition of being indoors a lot. It's, it's hard on me.